Good morning. It has taken me like a full 24 hours to recover from Emma's 50th birthday party on University Street. Oh, my knees are looking, I've just been crawling on the floor. I've just been crawling on the floor trying to get this camera angle. Nobody needs to know that. It's supposed to be an illusion. But vlogging is basically a person on their own talking about their lives and hopefully connecting with other people, which is all about being an Aquarian really, is about communication and connecting. And then weirdly not, there's a massive contradiction there as well. It's also very detached and isolated. But I'm just gonna do a couple of minutes of jumping today. Um, Cause I didn't do any jumping on Saturday and I'm just editing Friday's vlog right now. I'm just um, rasterizing. I'm converting some files so that I can speed it up and put music over it. So. So let's go jumping. <laughs> uh, Sunday today. Did I say it was Sunday? Okay, let's go. Something about me. 
You don't have the metabolism that you have anymore in your 50s than you do in your teens and 20s and you always think you're forever going to be a teenager but that's simply well in the mind yes but in the body you feel the aches and pains and believe me after Friday I did so I was rushing around all around London Friday Acton, Shepherd's Bush, back to Chiswick, back to Acton, then Shepherd's Bush again, then Holborn, Chancery Lane, back to West London, and then back to University Street in central London near Euston, near Slade School. So yeah, I was, um, and then all the dancing and excitement of Friday night up until the late hours. Um, I had a little cry with um, Dougie, who's a brother of one of, well, they were all close friends to Robin. So it was a really nice, it wasn't like, like depressing, oh my God, my life's crap from crying. It was like, I really, his presence there and I hadn't really spoken to Dougie I don't really speak to all any of those guys regularly and it's just seeing Robin and all of them which was quite bizarre Oops. Um, this never goes away um, so yeah it took me a whole day to recover and today I think I'm gonna super recover but I might go for a walk up in East London later. With the girls. So um, let's just see how today pans out. I mean, astrologically, it's moon, sun in Leo, moon in Cancer. So it might be a stay at home and aggressively tidy and clean and make it organised and reset. I will do jumping just now because I, I thought I'd be alright to jump because I ate 40 half an hour ago but I can still feel, still feel food digesting so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump maybe later but I'm gonna get my steps in my steps Walk around this way in ages. Just walk around this way all the time. I forgot that they had that little green bit there. None of that was built. And these bins were always a source of amusement. And you just, I think, hide and seek mainly. very muggy today this look at the um, angle of that it's not really made for humans to walk on unless you like flipping got short one short leg shorter than the other unusually quiet today here's a story before these houses were built this used to be kind of like um, the rest of the estate. Um, a car park, it was all parking, I think, or it was just clear land. And this gate was, wasn't as high as it was. 
it was kind of like those sort of um, netting fences but it, part of it come down and it was here behind in the, inside the swan where actually I'm still going to film there because it's one of my earliest memories um, this is the pub the swan pub on Acton Lane and as kids we just played out here and a song came out called Lipstick and Powder and I think that song came out maybe 1978, 1979 which would have made me I don't know maybe seven years old six or seven years old and I saw Dave Edmonds I didn't know his name was Dave Edmonds when I was that age but I recognized him off top of the pops and I um I walk on so you can see the pub and I said I was on my own playing or oh, maybe my brother my I always had a sibling nearby I always knew because they, they'd probably be playing basketball or roller skating somewhere inside the estate with a gang of kids so I was always safe but I went up to him and I said excuse me did you sing lipstick and powder? <laughs> and of course the girl, the song is called Girls Talk and I thought it was called Lipstick and Powder and um, he just looked at me absolute like shocking like he was just flabbergasted and was just like um well lipstick and powder is in the song but it's called Girls Talk and I kind of like was like oh and then I sang it to him and the guy that was next to him was a guy called um, I didn't realise there were so many people out here the guy standing next to him was um, oh my god the name is anyway they were all in rock pile together the name of the guy, Nick Lowe, that's it, Nick Lowe, and, um, and then here, that was my school there, but here is where John Taylor waved when I had met him. I saw him, oh my god, I can't believe I'm telling you this story, my nephew is going to kill me, because I, apparently I tell this story every day. I was walking here from school and I had pens in my hands and where that silver car is just there that silver car I spotted a tall man who looked exactly like the man in my posters on one wall just one man John Taylor the bassist of Duran Duran and he was walking there with two other people maybe three but I was just mesmerized I was like oh my god that is John Taylor from Duran Duran and of course I was the biggest Durani out there god these pavement these this walking area is still as knobbly as it ever was but I suppose we have you know it's just the necessity of having a tree and this this is exact spot here where I said excuse me is your are you John Taylor and he looked at me here right here and he went no nah no I'm not and then walked on and then I turned I turned away with my head down and I thought to myself I can't believe John Taylor just lied to me I'm his biggest fan and then I take and then he went and then I heard a voice saying excuse me and I went yes and he goes yes I am John Taylor from Duran Duran I don't know why I said that and then we had a conversation and it was all good and he signed my arm with an ink pen I only had an ink pen on me How's, how does the universe work like that and all the kids this was all a cage a playground area and the school was a beautiful Victorian school just up 
there where that tree is now. It's such a shame that they turn this into this like, look, horrible dwellings. It should have been a Victorian school, really beautiful. Anyway, I walked into the, I walked in, but the actual entrance is still pretty much this. There was two, there's one this side and one by that thicker tree over there. And I walked into school, which was kind of like through here. And um, I'd gone up to, I think Bonnie, I think Bonnie was there. Gina, and I said, I was trying to tell them that, look, I've got writing on my arm. Um, I just met John Taylor from Duran Duran and he just signed me, he's just gone into the pub. And then it was like wildfire, the way everyone suddenly, who? Duran Duran? I uh, hate Duran Duran. And then suddenly the whole school were Duran Duran fans and just ran to the top of the, the um, playground. <laughs> uh, ran to the top of the playground and um, I was going, Duran Duran, Duran Duran, John! and uh, he just stayed in the pub, but they could see him moving around where that glass thing was. And this is where the duck area was. And that's a car park for like, re like and that wall is the original wall, so that would have had wall memory. And this was our school, but it's now a horrible, really cheap material m fabric estate which will probably dilapidate in two years time which is why they make them like this oh, there's more parking in here than there is actual space to live in there you go probably wasn't cheap either to buy somewhere here anyway but i hope that they these are actual council as opposed to private, because then that would make me feel less scathing about these, this new build. So this was, when I say new build, it was built in the mid to late 90s, sort of 1997, 1996, this was built. And that's it. I'm gonna head on out and uh, continue my walk.